recognize your fragrance. Hold up, you ain't never gotta say shit. Ooh, and I know your taste is a little bit ooh, high maintenance. Ooh, everybody else basic. You live life on an everyday basis with poetic justice. Poetic justice. If I told you that a flower bloomed in a dark room, would you trust it? I mean, I write poems in these. Hey y'all, so I'm starting this vlog in the car. Okay, I'm already at work. It's currently 8:30. And it's a Thursday. Thank you guys so much for getting my last vlog to a thousand views in one day. Like less than 24 hours, actually. This is why I'm doing this for y'all. Okay, today is Thursday, y'all. I'm going to Oasis tonight. There's a party Thursday, Friday, and Saturday of this week, right? Y'all, why are they charging us weekend tipping on a Thursday? Like what? People barely been making their tipping back, y'all, on regular days of the week. Why are we paying? $95 and literally like at 9 o'clock. If you come before 9 o'clock, it's $95. If you want a wristband, it's like $105. Like, that is literally insane. In order to make a profit off of that, you gotta make $200. Like, more than $105. Like, that is just crazy to me, y'all. And then people wonder why. People just wonder why. A lot of a lot of dancers stop dancing at the club. Sometimes there only be six girls in the club. Sometimes there only be five girls in the club. But y'all got to understand, like, y'all are taxing us. And not only that, we got to pay for a wristband. And then we got to pay 20% out of the section bag. Like, and we don't even be making that much money in Oasis because they don't be, it don't be that much money. Well, recently, when I first started working at Oasis, oh my God, y'all, the money used to be good. But the money just isn't good anymore, y'all. It's just not but it's currently 8 30 i gotta be in there before nine o'clock i don't think i'm gonna pay for a wristband tonight because like be for real like literally be for real like i'm not i'm not trying to pay a hundred dollars and then sometimes the the customers don't even not even the ones that choose the dances so it's like bruh every time y'all see me in the section usually the customers choose the dances but i'm talking a lot y'all i know i started this vlog off talking so much but i'm so sorry y'all i'm gonna see y'all when i get in the club okay y'all so it's like 10 30 right now it's not that many girls here i mean it's a lot of girls here but not too many girls pay for wristbands I'm not getting a wristband, like, I'm just not paying. If they see you, then they could be, but, yeah, y'all, I don't know what today's gonna give. Like, the energy here is not really good today, but we just gonna see, y'all. We just gonna see. I'm ready to take this freaking wig off, but I'm probably gonna have this wig off for, like, the rest of the weekend. But, I'm gonna just see y'all a little bit later, y'all, and we're gonna pray for a mini night on the road to the Y'all know dang well, I do not stop after work. I never, ever, ever stop with a bitch. It's so freaking hungry, y'all. And my mom didn't cook tonight. Y'all know my mom always cooks. But, yeah, we about to get some McDonald's. Cause that's literally the only thing that's open. I was going to go to IHOP. And I was like, bro, I want to be in the house. So, I kind of want to make flurry, y'all. Damn, no ice cream. Okay, um, can I get a smoothie? Um, uh, mango pineapple, please. Anything else, please? That's it. I paid $15 for some freaking McDonald's. Like, ugh. I wanted a McFlurry. You don't got no ice cream. The ice cream machine down. I just, I should have known, right? I should have fucking known. I literally was in a section tonight, y'all, but. The section was $194 each, and then we had to tip out $20. So we really made $174, and it was three girls, and they literally was trying to put five girls in that section on. Dang well, they only got like four or $500. But yeah, y'all, I'm gonna just talk to y'all a little bit when I get home. I'm gonna let y'all know like what happened when they had the club and how I ended up in the section I didn't even pay if I could risk being. Hey y'all, so it's the next day. I'm actually up. It's like 12 o'clock. I'm feeling decent today, y'all. I'm not gonna lie. Now, yesterday I didn't do a money count for y'all because I don't know. I would just want to get in the bed. I'm not gonna lie. And y'all know I never eat fast food ever. But yesterday I literally went to McDonald's. My skin is breaking out so bad. And I think it's because like when I count my money, sometimes I be accidentally touching my face. Like I really need to stop doing that. I'm about to go really like deep wash my face right now. But anyways, y'all. 
let me tell y'all what happened at work yesterday how i got in the section i didn't pay for a section wristband yesterday the customers really liked me for some reason and they had to choose the girls of course so they chose the girls it literally y'all that this section was bs it was three girls in the section and they wanted five of us and we only had 194 dollars a piece with three girls and y'all wanted five girls if there was five girls we would have went home with like a 70 dollars slip maybe literally so it was just like it wasn't worth having five girls and y'all didn't have no money but yeah that's that on that people literally was walking out the section because they see how much money it was and they're like bro i'm not about to sit here and, and split three four hundred dollars or five hundred dollars with five girls like that just don't make no sense but yeah that that was just that was just the dub yesterday y'all but y'all so this girl let me tell y'all one of the dancers in the club called herself like really confronting me or whatever um or really like addressing me so she walks up to me she's like what you don't like me or something i'm like what you mean i don't like you like like what you don't follow me back on instagram she's like i'm not talking about instagram I'm like okay then like what are you talking about she's like i don't know like when you first started working here you used to talk to me you used to say what's up but now i just feel like there's negative energy like with you what y'all when i tell y'all i don't talk to nobody I don't talk to nobody like yeah i may be cordial when people say hey what's up but like i'm never in nobody's face ever in the club and she was like yeah i'm a cancer i'm a cancer i think she was saying like i'm a, cancers are emotional or cancer is like we peep everything or something like that i don't know what she was saying but she was like she was a cancer and i was like i'm a burko which means i have a resting face first of all and which means i'm buried to myself i'm very observant i'm very quiet like i may look like i have an attitude i may look like i don't want to talk to you want to be bothered but that's really not the case i really just be chilling like i i literally like to sit back and peep everything i know so much stuff in a club that people probably don't even think i pay attention to because i'm always in my head 24 7 i'm always in my head but i was just like girl that ain't no beam she's like oh i just wanted to ask you and address the issue i'm like why would i have a problem with you one i barely see her she barely even works at the club so it's like yeah but I don't talk to nobody at the club. So if anybody at the club thinks I have a problem with them because I'm quiet and I stand offish, that's not the case. It's just, I don't know y'all. So it's like, I like to stay to myself. I don't need, look, I come there to work and go home. I'm not here to make friends. I don't make friends in the club because I know how to, I can, I know how it can go, like literally. But anyways, y'all, yesterday, I made 194 in a section. They took $20. So 174 and then i made like $20 at back after the section so 194 and then i went to mcdonald's yesterday and spent $15 so we gonna see we gonna see what tonight holds y'all we gonna see what tonight holds today is friday i'm not buying a section for this band y'all they put us in a little group chat to where our tipping is like raised real high now for some reason but oh yeah i'm gonna just see y'all a little later Hey, truck to the plane, to the truck, truck to the hotel lobby. Me, I go through underground garages, presidential suite on deposit, elevator up to the room, shower up, and then we hit the club. Touchdown, gotta see. So it said I'm going to get to work at 8.30, which is decent time because I really want to get me some food. My mom thinks she's grown, so she done went to the SWV concert and she didn't cook today. Y'all know literally my mom cooks all the time for me, but she literally did not cook for me today or yesterday. Yesterday, y'all see, I came home and I ate some McDonald's and I never eat fast food ever. Like, I hate fast food. But anyways, y'all, it said I'm going to get to work at 8.30. I obviously, well, clearly I didn't do my hair. I'm going to do all that when I get to work. Yeah, this is why I'm wearing work. I try to look the non most presentable when I'm on the way to work. That way people don't try to talk to me, especially when I'm walking to my car. It usually ends up happening anyways, but I try my hardest. I try my hardest to not look cute sometimes, but y'all ended up doubling my lash clusters and I really don't like it. Like I know y'all were saying, oh, my lashes don't be looking like real full, but I like it like that. I mm -mm. I feel like this, these are just too much. They, they weigh too much on my face. 
in my opinion but my sister told me to double them so that's literally what i did and i think they look crazy it's not it's not my favorite thing like these big old lashes no i like it when i just do one one little thing i don't want to double my clusters so yeah all y'all was coming to me saying oh it looked like you need to feel you need to do your lashes over woo -doo -woo -doo -woo. i don't want lash extensions because one when i want to take them off i want to take them off when i want to wash my whole face i want to wash my whole face and wake up with nothing on my face like literally so that's the only reason why i don't get lash extensions i used to but like now i really don't feel like it but anyways y'all yeah let me go to work i'm talking too much hey, she trying to get lit I'm I'm going to go. I'm going to I'm going to go. I'm going to go. i I'm going to go. 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 i am going to go i am going to go i am who the fuck is you She didn't say ripples. I said, bro, you got her. Okay, y'all, so I just bought a new outfit, y'all. This was $45, so I'm really in the negative real bad because I paid $80 to dance and I paid $45 for this outfit, but. I really needed an outfit real bad, y'all. I don't know what's in the air tonight. I don't know why everybody arguing, everybody's gonna fight. But we're gonna have a good night tonight, hopefully. Okay, it's currently 11 o'clock. It's late. The birthday girl just got here. And yeah, we just gonna see how tonight goes. Because right now, ain't nothing going on. And I literally just got downstairs. So yeah, we're gonna see. I'm gonna try to make some money real quick. <laughs> So basically, it was money in the club tonight. I'm not gonna lie, but the money was for the birthday girl. Like, I don't know why they charged it event tipping. I only paid $85. I paid $85 tipping, y'all, and then I paid $45 for this outfit that I just bought, the one that I showed y'all, the black outfit. I think I showed y'all. But, so yeah, I really paid $85 for tipping tonight. Like, why? I don't know. Like, it's just so much going on with this club. Y'all, literally, the girl chose, not the birthday girl, but a customer chose three dancers to be in the section. They got, like, probably, like, two bands, I think, or whatever. Why? someone uh security or something kicked one of the girls out because she wasn't cute or something like that like that shit is just so weird to me like it's not about your preference it's about if the customer chooses the dancer just let them dance like why are you sitting here telling them pick up the money and then saying oh like she can't be in a section anymore like that's just so weird to me but i did buy this outfit from this girl shout out to the girl that gave me that outfit today um she told me to go try a new club so i'm about to try this other club y'all they said it was basically mixed so when i used to work in virginia it wasn't really a mixed club but crowd wise it was more mixed so and she said the new club that she wanted me to try is is definitely like um more of a gentleman's club so i want to try that at least during the week and see how the vibes is but y'all already know i'm gonna go as a customer feel the vibes out see if they hiring and things like that but y'all as of now i'm at like 100 and then this is what i have left so it's probably 140 tonight y'all not gonna lie um yeah i'm gonna just see y'all tomorrow because yeah y'all this just is some bullshit y'all uh, so it is the next day i really was not in the best of mood yesterday like i really hope yesterday would have been better today damn y'all don't have my necklace i feel like i always wear my necklace but anyways y'all i really hope it's better like i don't know what's been going on in the club y'all 
but it just really has not been good and yesterday was somebody's birthday so i can't expect you know me to have money because usually fridays at oasis is slow anyways so we gonna hope today a saturday is better but yo it's just oh when i first started working at oasis chef like I used to really make some good money, but now it's just, it's a lot of weird energy going on in that club, not gonna lie. Lutz had like 50 girls yesterday. I had a homegirl that worked there that let me know that it was like 50 girls, which is insane, like, ooh. But it's okay, y'all, because I got something new coming up for y'all soon. A different club. I don't know if I'm gonna go this week coming up. It just depends, y'all, but yeah. I hope all y'all come to my birthday party. If you live in Baltimore, y'all, my birthday party is going to be August 17th at Oasis. So, yeah, y'all. If y'all want to come see me, um, yeah, just make sure you, you come to Oasis. I'm going to have a flyer and all that. So, make sure you follow me on Instagram at Solange Dancer. It's the same as my YouTube. Um, It's going to be a whole flyer. And I just want to turn up with my subscribers and stuff. But, yeah, y'all. I'm going to just see y'all a little bit later. Okay, y'all, so I'm about to literally end this vlog short. I didn't end up going to work tonight. I ended up being able to turn up with my cousin. Like, I feel like everything isn't about money. Like, everything isn't about money. I could have went to work today and possibly made money or possibly not make money. But I just feel like I went to a bank today. I'm chilling with my family. Like, I'm outside right now. It's literally like 1 a.m. I'm outside. Like, you know what? Sometimes it's okay to take a day off. I be trying to work, work, work and make so much money and the club be so slow for two, three hundred dollars instead of trying to enjoy my life. So yeah, yeah. I just wanna let y'all know. I am a little lit, but I just wanna let y'all know that I love y'all. Thank you so much for giving me the 3K and I promise on the next vlog I'm gonna do better for y'all. But like, thank you. Make sure you to like, comment, and subscribe. And y'all, Solange Dances, I was about to turn this bitch up. I might keep vlogging for y'all. I don't know. But we, we just gonna see. We just gonna see.